going you guys and welcome back to another episode of in k-pop news where you can get caught up on the week's news in k-pop so without further ado let's get into the news our first story is coming from none other than papa yg papa yg the troll that he is recently teased us with an image on his social media recently. The image hints at the group's 10 year anniversary since debut with the text Big Bang 10 with a URL in small print right underneath BigBang10.com. So when you go to the website, it brings up a page and it says Big Bang 10 again, but right underneath that it says more projects coming soon. What, what projects? Now Big Bang's official anniversary is August 19th and that's a good two months away from now and a long time to release a teaser. But this is YG after all, and he, 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 he does whatever he wants. <laughs> now this could be the date that Big Bang wraps up and releases their main album, which it should have already been released in October. And I was waiting for that. I, I was still saving a fund. It's a separate banking account. It's called Big Bang Money. And <laughs> but only God knows what this recent teaser image is about. And of course, Papa YG knows as well. You cheeky bastard. <laughs> also in K-pop, Vix recently performed in Mexico on the 22nd, but sadly, Leo and Ravi fainted on stage during the performance. And ultimately, they were not able to finish their performance. Before the incident, it seemed like they were uncomfortable performing and, and just, you know, out of mind. <laughs> After they were fainted, they were brought backstage and had a medical evaluation, and it was determined that they didn't suffer any serious harm. It is believed that this incident was caused by Vic's tough and busy schedule and also the weather conditions at that concert. Additionally, the promoters of this concert sold more than a thousand available spots and actually sold a thousand five hundred, thus leading to a packed stadium. And if that wasn't bad enough, the AC in the stadium actually gave out, leading to a very, very hot atmosphere. Trust me, I've been there. It's all sweaty and like, there is not one inch on your body that is not drenched in sweat. It's, it's like getting born again. <laughs> and Leo and Ravi weren't the only ones to faint due to these harsh conditions. Some fans actually suffered from the event as well and needed medical assistance. Jellyfish Entertainment stated that Leo and Ravi's schedule is canceled for the foreseeable future. But again, don't worry, they are completely fine. And this is just basically piss poor planning by the production managers of the event. And let's just hope that this doesn't happen again. <laughs> Also in K-pop, the recently debuted IOI is proving their popularity in maybe a not so good way. In a few instances, some fans have gone a little bit too far recently after they followed members of IOI to the restroom and actually took some photos of them. Now this is of the pervy photos that, that, that I would take, okay? But I retract that statement. Uh, my lawyer is telling me that I am... We're gonna cut that out? Okay. It's just photos of Dayeon near the sinks and Sejong leaving the restroom. But still, this is an evasion of privacy and could be a crime in some instances. Now, IOI has taken this incident pretty lightly and hasn't taken any legal action whatsoever against those fans. But you could bet the internet gave those fans a good talking to. Now, I know what you're thinking. I believe it was girls that took these photos. If it was boys, this would be a whole different story. <laughs> Ultimately, these are fans that are just lacking common decency and can't really control themselves. I would probably be one of them, even for the boy groups. If you see just Jackson walking by, I'd be like, no doubt. I would not pass up that opportunity to see that wang. Jackson, wait, wait. <laughs> Also in K-pop, on May 25th, SM announced that Taeyeon has finished wrapping up her MV filming in many locations in the good old U.S. of A. If you, it's, it's USA if you didn't understand my, my accent. Yes, after her recent album, I, and her single with SM Station, Rain, Taeyeon is ready to come back with another solo album. Now there's no specific date as far as June, but 
I'm sure you guys are already excited. To My dog's really excited. <laughs> also in K-pop, this is this is some really, really exciting news. I don't know why I'm excited. I'll probably not even attend. I don't have good grades. But the ever so creative SF Entertainment is back at it again with a very unique idea. With the popularity of K-pop continuing to grow worldwide, SM is gonna take advantage of it and open up a K-pop school. Yes, believe it or not, SM Entertainment is going to open up a K-pop international school where students can study many topics including music, dance, stage design, and the core classes of Korean, English, and mathematics. If you, they could just take out that mathematics part, I would be completely fine. This school was created in order to give foreign as well as Korean students an opportunity to become trainees and get their education at the same time. What is surprising to me and others is that they want to comprise the school of 70% foreigners and 30% Koreans. Now before you start packing your bags and studying how to say where is the bathroom in Korean, they are planning to open the school up in Gangnam and then hopefully globally later. Additionally, this isn't a legally recognized school yet. You will still have to you will still have to take a separate exam in order to be recognized as a student by Korean educational standards. But imagine a school where there's 70% of people like you and then 30% of hot Korean people. Plus your teachers could be your, like your your biases from like SM, like your favorite group and like biases. Sunny, Sunny for homeroom, English, Korean, dance, uh, mathematics, I don't care. Also in K-pop, does, does YG thinks this is funny? Recently, YG asked the question, who's next? With the date May 30th on an image shared on social media. Many thought that Big Bang was gonna release their made album finally. Others thought it was gonna be 21's comeback as three members. Some thought that the new girl group was finally gonna debut. And others thought Winner was actually going to finish spelling the word exit. But it is none of the above, and in fact, an Icon single. Yes, Icon, who debuted less than a year ago. Now don't get me wrong, I love me some Icon, okay? But Papa YG focuses too much on his new projects and needs to go back and finish some he started before. But what do I know? I'm just some guy in my office talking to a camera and YG is the CEO of a company. I apologize Papa YG, please uh, punish me to uh, the fullest extent. Don't come here, I actually take me over to, to YG and, and punish me there. Get me inside the building. Yeah, but I'm gonna run around and, and try to find and try to look at everything before you you hit me with a belt uh, But still I'll enjoy it <laughs> I don't know what was that anyways, what am I complaining about? I love icon. I'm excited Also in K-pop Taeyeon isn't the only SF artist to have solo activities FX's Luna is ready to make her solo debut with the song Free Somebody. Free Somebody is actually going to be a dance song with a futuristic feel comparable to FX's Four Walls and Amber and Luna's duet Wave. It is going to be released on May 31st and I'm actually really excited for it. Um, I recently fell in love with Luna. My heart has a mind of its own, you know? Also in K-pop, yet another girl group is ready to throw their hat in the summer comeback ring and it is Red Velvet. Red Velvet is going to be competing against EXID, Sistar, Wonder Girls, and 21 this summer to crown the queens of K-pop 2016. That's what I labeled it. <laughs> See, I'm creative. <laughs> this will be the most recent comeback since four months ago with the album The Velvet. Red Velvet is set to come back sometime in July. This summer is going to be ridiculous, man. Oh. And now for the biggest news story this week in K-pop. Super Junior member Kang Ng is in trouble yet again for driving under the influence. The Gangnam police said that Kang Ng is under investigation for driving under the influence and hitting a lamppost in front of a convenience store early 
in the morning. After eyewitnesses from the store owner and reports of seeing Kang Nin's car near the gas station two hours beforehand, the police are now testing his blood alcohol level and seeing if he fled the scene or not. Other evidence is also this CCTV footage of Kang Nin driving down the street. It doesn't seem very dangerous, but it is yet even more evidence against Kang Nin. Kang Nin stated that he remembers hitting something with his car, but didn't really know what it was. This actually isn't the first time Kang Nin has been charged with a DUI. In 2009, he paid an 8 million won fee, $8,000, for hitting a parked taxi. On this current issue though, SM has made a public statement. Kang Nin's DUI accident is true. He went to the police station this afternoon after being contacted and was investigated at the scheduled time. Kang Nin is deeply reflecting after this incident. He'll be taking time to reflect and stopping all entertainment related activities. Once again, we sincerely apologize for causing worry. And a few days later on May 25th, the blood tests were in. It shows that Kang Nin's blood alcohol level was 0.157, which is above the 0.1, which would get someone's license revoked. But there's still uncertainty about his blood alcohol level. Kang Nin stated something, but the test said something else. So the police will continue to investigate the matter. If Kang Nin is found guilty though, he could face charges of leaving the scene of an accident, disobeying traffic laws, and DUI. With all of this news coming out, some fans of Super Junior actually asked SM to have Kang Nin leave the group altogether. With an actually really well written argument stating that it would be better for him to leave. What I think about this is that it's a different culture over there. Of course, over here, DUIs happen all the time, and over there as well, because it's a very uh, social drinking culture that if you go out with your friends, you're gonna drink. I don't know if he was out with his friends or he was by himself, but I wouldn't necessarily understand the circumstances, but driving under the influence is a very, very dangerous thing to do. I think people that do that should be held accountable, and especially it is his second time, not his first, his second time doing this. He did pay his fees, and of course he's not gonna spend any jail time because he's a K-pop idol, but still, I don't know if fees is enough this time, but let me know what you guys think. So that is it for this week's In K-Pop News. I hope you guys enjoyed the stories. I'm still deciding on how to format this show like concretely, like to have a set format and design. I'm still working on it. And also, I'm gonna be upgrading this channel, Internet Nathan 2.0, with some new equipment and uh, some other new things coming. And I hope you guys are ready for that. But let me know what you thought about the stories I talked about today. Let's have a conversation about them. Also, you can click my recent in K-pop news videos right here. Check them out and get some knowledge in your brain. Also, if you enjoyed it enough, please hit that subscribe button. I make this in K-pop news series every single weekend. So get ready for that. Also, share this video with others. They might get some K-pop knowledge as well. But that is it for me today. And I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Annyeong.